In this video, I will demonstrate how to expand the capacity of your current MUMMC without losing any data. Let's get started. In my previous video about setting up the console from scratch, I set the MUMMC to 12GB. While this works for most situations, in some cases, you might need more space to contain large game safe data. Please be advised that even if you have an unmodded or modded console, the default operating system restricts you from moving game safe data to the microSD card and vice versa, which in my opinion, is quite ridiculous. So in this video, I will show you how to expand the space to any size you want without messing it up. Please watch the video attentively, and I wish you the best of luck. Assuming you have set up the MUMMC on a modded console and boots to Hecate. First, let's check the SD card partition layout. I'm using a 128GB microSD card, and this little red bar right here is the 12GB MUMMC raw partition. This video primary objective is to increase the red bar storage capacity by reallocating space from the green bar, provided there is sufficient space available on the micro SD card. Let's close this page and launch the existing MUMMC. Oh, by the way, I'm using my head spec. I've installed some games on the MUMMC. Let's go to the system settings and check its firmware version. It is currently on firmware 18.1.0, and it is confirmed to be running the MUMMC environment. And now, let's open the data management menu to see the system memory and the micro SD card space. When you set the MUMMC to 12GB, you will have around 9GB of space available for safe data and other game data, while the capacity of the micro SD card depends on the amount of unused space on the total micro SD card capacity. To prove that the MUMMC is working properly, let's test it by running a random game. Okay, let's close the game and reboot the console. To ensure the success of this project, we need to verify that the SysMMC or the OFW or the stock are all running the same firmware as the MUMMC. I chose the SysMMC CFW. Let's get into the system settings and check its firmware version. The firmware is currently on version 18.1.0, which is the same as the one installed on the MUMMC. And now let's get into the data management menu. I haven't installed any titles on the SysMMC, so there's approximately 55GB of free space on the system memory, while the microSD card free space remains the same on both the MUMMC and the SysMMC side as they share the same space on the microSD card. Now let's go back and reboot the console. Next, we need to extract the console keys. Click on Payloads, then select Lockpick RCM. Press the power button to dump the keys from Sysnet. Press any button to continue, then select Reboot to Hecate. Before making any changes, it is crucial to backup the contents of the SD card. To complete the task, you must use a USB Type-C cable to connect your console to a Windows PC. Now select Tools, then USB Tools, connect the USB cable, then select SD Card. On your Windows PC, find the mounted SD Card Drive. Now create a new folder and name it SD Card Backup. Select all the files inside the mounted SD Card Drive and drag it into the newly created folder. The time required to process this task will depend on the size and the speed of your SD card. Close the folder and safely remove the mounted SD card drive. 
Now back to Hecate, press close. In this section, we will back up the MUMMC. Again, select Tools, then USB Tools, and then select MU Raw GPP. Download the latest version of the NX9 Manager, which is capable of detecting the most recent firmware version. You can find the link in the description below. Now run the NX9 Manager. Click File, Open Drive, then select SDGPP Hecate. At this point, the NX9 Manager cannot detect the firmware version of the mounted NAND. It says not found. But don't worry as we can fix this later. Now we will import the console keys. Select Options, Configure Keyset, click Import Keys from File, and select the prod.keys file which is located inside the Switch folder on the SD card backup folder. Click OK and save it. Now you can see the firmware version of the mounted NAND. If you cannot see it, your NX9 Manager may not be updated or the prod.keys file may be incorrect. And now let's back up the MUMMC by clicking Full Dump. Select where you want to save the file. I chose Desktop. Please ignore the error pop-up window that may appear at the end of the dumping process. Now, let's open the MUMMC backup file which is the raw nan.bin. Next, right-click the Save Partition, then select Dump to File. Again, save it to the desktop. Now, right-click the system partition, and again, save it to the desktop. And then, we need to copy the user partition content. Right-click the partition, then select Mount. Please install the Docker driver if prompted. Create a new folder on the desktop and name it User. Select all the content inside the mounted user partition and drag it into the User folder. Once you have finished copying, you can now close the window and unmount the user partition. Disconnect the USB cable from the Windows PC. Now, get into the Partition SD card menu. Press OK. If you have a V1, V2, or Lite, the default standard maximum MUMMC value is 29GB. If you exceed this limit, it will create two MUMMC partitions, which is not typical. So, set it to 29GB only. If you own an OLED, the default standard maximum MUMMC value is 58GB. Exceeding this limit will result in creating two MUMMC partitions, which is not ideal. Therefore, make sure it is set to 58GB only. In this project, I'm using the OLED, so I set the MUMMC size to 58GB. Click Next Step, then press Start. Press the power button to continue. Press OK and close the page. Get back to the home menu, then click MUMMC. Select Create MUMMC, then select SD Partition, and click Part 1. Creating the MUMMC may take time depending on your SD card speed. Ensure the console has sufficient power to complete the process. It took approximately 20 minutes to set up a 58GB MUMMC on this OLED. Close the page twice and navigate to the Tools page. Click USB Tools, disable the read-only option, then click SD card. Partitioning the SD card has a potential to erase its contents if Hecate is unable to back it up. It is crucial to back up the SD card beforehand to prevent this issue. As you can see on the screen, a lot of data is missing, and we need to restore the content from the SD card backup folder. Open the SD card backup folder, select its contents, and then drag them to the mounted SD card drive. 
The time taken to complete this process will depend on the speed of the SD card and the size of the content. Safely eject the mounted SD card drive from your Windows PC. Then press close. Now select MU Raw GPP. On the NX9 Manager, click File, Open Drive, then select SD GPP Hecate. We will now restore the save partition. Right click the partition, then select Restore from File. Select the save.bin file, then click Yes. Now let's restore the system partition. Select the system.bin file. Then click Yes. The NX9 Manager has an irritating bug. Should you encounter an error while restoring the system partition, you must reopen the app and try again. If that doesn't help, please clear the keyset and try restoring the system partition again. Now, let's mount the user partition. Copy and replace the content from the user folder into the mounted user partition. Disconnect the USB cable from your Windows PC. Press close and try to launch the MUMMC. And there you go, the games are intact. Let's open the system settings. The MUMMC is currently confirmed to be running on firmware 18.1.0. Now let's check the data management. You can see that the system memory is now about 55GB. Let's try running a game. At this point, we have successfully expanded the MUMMC to a higher capacity. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you gain new skills, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.